So also you have in the industry voice actresses. That's another way that women can participate in this industry. And many of you may know, if you don't know, the English um, dubbed voices are for Ash in Pokemon are actually voiced by these two voice actresses. Veronica Taylor was the actress for the first eight seasons of Pokemon and Sarah Nadocheni is the current voice for Ash for you know all the current things that are coming out. Um, she took over after Veronica Taylor um, uh, handed the reins over. So um, I do have a video there that shows about, um, and I'll link it into, I believe up here in the right, I've got that linked in our playlist. If you want to watch, it's about a 13, 14 minute video that goes into detail and shows how they lip sync and match up the, the voice, the, the character comics on how they match that up to the English. It's very interesting. So you might want to check that out later after camp. And the next page, please. Another voice actress we have is Lucy Christian Bell. She's an American voice actress and ADR script writer at Funimation and Seraphim Digital Sentai Filmworks. She has provided many voices for English versions of Japanese anime films and series. And in 2007, the American, American Anime Awards nominated her for Best Actress, work, Best actress for her work in Princess Tutu and as, as lead role of a hero and the best actress in a comedy for her work in Desert Punk, Nagima, and Nerima Daikon Brothers. Again, sorry, I'm butchering the Japanese. And over there to the right, you can see all the many, many, many things she has worked in in her 20 year, um, she's a 20 year veteran of the industry. And of course, the most important part of her resume is she is a Girl Scout mom. Now, I know you probably know this character up here from My Hero Academia. Do any of you girls like My Hero Academia? You could tap in the chat box if you like that. We're getting a lot of yeses. Yes, okay. that's my favorite. She's my favorite. <laughs> awesome. Well, guess what? We have awesome Girl Scout moms here in um our council. I'm sure you have awesome Girl Scout moms in your council. And we have a very special, awesome Girl Scout mom that is going to join us today. There she is. You have to unmute yourself, Lucy. Hello. Can you now we can hear you. Yay. Hi, well, you guys. This How is are our you? Special <laughs> guest, Lucy Christian Gow. Yay. How's it going? I am so glad to get to be here today. Here's my here's my Ochako pin. And I'm wearing my my Scout Mom shirt too. Yes. <laughs> yes, you should check out my hero. I'm seeing all of the different chats and stuff. And I really love that you guys are talking about the Japanese. I don't know if you know this, but um I mean I'm obviously I'm an English dub. Uh, actor. I've been doing it for a really long time. I've done hundreds of dubs. Um, but I learned to dub with the Japanese in my ear. I, I am, I'm a first fan of the Japanese. Um, so I just want you guys to know that we love the Japanese. So I'm glad that tomorrow we're all going to watch, I think, um, the camping show in Japanese with subs, and that'll be awesome. Oh, thank you. I know, honey, senpai is the best. <laughs> it is crazy. Um, does anybody have, can I do one of my anime voices? Well, they're a lot like different shades of my own. I am real, Lillian. <laughs> um, I can definitely say thank you. Eloise Trancy is great. Um, he's a little messed up. Um, but yes, I am, I'm Lucy. I do a lot of anime. I go to a lot of conventions, not right now. Um, but I do it and I love that you guys are having this camp. I feel like, especially thinking about my hero and stuff like that, um, my girls and I have talked about that a lot of the heroes and sort of the idea of scouts is very similar. The idea of having integrity, and, and always trying to be better and, and becoming great, becoming a, a greater person over time. Um, 
I can say, I see what you guys want me to do. So I can do things like, um, let's see, um, Otaku is like, uh, Deku, um, I'm going to become a pro. I'll sign with a good agency and make plenty of money. Then my family can have an easy life. Release! Um, so there's her. Uh, let's see, Honey Senpai would be like, Haruhi, let's eat cake. <laughs> oh, you guys are so cute. Um, you're cute. I want you to know, oh, thank you. You guys are awesome. I don't know, I know I don't have a whole bunch of time, but um, I want to encourage sure you. Take up as much time as you want. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just want to encourage you. Oh, thank you. You guys are so sweet. I see all of your chat messages. They're wonderful. Um, I just want to encourage you that, you know, I did not know I was going to do this in my life. At first, I thought I was going to be a teacher or a social worker. And then I, um, like, um, like anime clubs in high school, I got involved in, in plays, doing plays in high school. And I thought, what a fun thing. I really enjoy doing this. I never thought it would be my job. Um, but I, I went to college and I got a degree or two and I ended up becoming an actor and it's something I love. It's something I feel really fortunate. Oh, you're wearing a My Hero shirt? It's something I feel really fortunate to get to do. And I feel like there's so much, even in this camp, you guys have gotten to work with lots of different mediums that allow you opportunities to explore your creativity. And I hope you do that. I hope you grab everything you can to explore creating and making stuff and making stuff with your friends. Um, it's just such a wonderful thing. And, and anime has just become so accessible. I remember when it was just a tiny community and it's not like that now it's huge i can't even believe it when honey do it again the honey senpai voice sienna is that what you're talking about <laughs> don't cry ashlyn don't do it um honey senpai would be like um um me and usachan nobody wants to eat cake with us usachan just me and you anyway he's precious yes <laughs> I'm also, I had to make a list. Um, I like that you guys were talking about women that play little boys. I do that as well. Obviously, Honey Senpai. Obviously, Aloise. Some of you may watch Fruits Basket. I am um, Hiro in the new season of Fruits Basket. He's kind of a brat, but I love him so much. Um, who else am I? There's a show called um, One Piece that has a gazillion episodes. I am Nami. I am a very bossy navigator. Um, and I've been doing that for like 10 years, 12 years. That is a ton of seasons. What else have I done? Um, oh, you guys talked about Full Metal. I don't know if you knew that I was Wrath in Full Metal. Um, I think he's the best homunculus, but that's, could I do Nami? Luffy! <laughs> I feel like she just yells Luffy's name a lot. <laughs> or says things like, Zoro, we can't possibly go that way. That makes no sense at all. Why would we do that? There are no berries that way. It's very dangerous. And then Luffy would be like, let's go that way. And then we're off on a new arc. Um, yes, I am Medusa in Soul Leader. Um, if you've seen that show, it's great stylistically, artistically. It's just a really cool looking show. And she's a villain. I don't get to play a lot of those kinds of things. It is epic, Lily, yes. Um, and Medusa's voice is so different. She's like, hello, Stein. She's very snake witchy, and it's fabulous. Do uh, Uraraka <laughs> again. Um, sure. Um, so this is a really great camp, and I think that Mr. Aizawa would totally let you guys join Class 1A. We just have to talk to him, and, like, it is approval, but it'll be great, and we'll figure out your quirks, and it'll be awesome. Frappy is my best friend. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. You are so, so, so kind. Um, do you have any more questions? I'm watching the chat. Do you have any questions that I could, you have a quirk? How did I get started in my work? Oh, thank you, Caitlin, thank you. I will tell you, I got started. I did not look for this to happen. I was an actor. I thought I was gonna go to New York and be on this stage. That is what I thought was going to happen. But I, I did not know anybody in New York, and I didn't have any money. So I'm 
came to Houston where I had family and I thought, I'll just live with my family and make enough money to go to New York. And then I got here, I'm still in Houston, I got here and I got an agent and I started booking voice work, but not anime work, like commercial work. And um, there's a lot of work here for like business type stuff, um, training videos and super corporate stuff. And I started booking all this voice work and I was like, huh, well, that's interesting. I, I didn't see myself doing this. Lo and behold, there is an anime company here in this town. It used to be called, um, sent, I mean, sorry, it used to be called ADV Films back in the day for those of us that are old enough to remember. And um, ADV Films had an audition and it came through my agency. And I was like, okay, I'll try that. And I'm here to tell you, I thought I was horrible. That is 100% true. I'm not even fishing. I went and I did um, a very bit part on a show and I came home and told my roommate, I was bad at that. They're never gonna have me back. And two weeks later, they were casting a show called Full Metal Panic. And I booked the lead in that show. I was miraculously given an, a chance to audition, which I thought was just a gift. <laughs> I couldn't believe I, I was asked to audition. And then I booked the lead and I was like, what are we doing? I don't even know what this is. Um, but everything came from that. I started working a whole bunch. I really hit when anime was really blowing up. Uh, here, the company I worked for was the largest DVD, which shows you how old that is, distributor in North America of anime. And then on the convention circuit, I met Mike McFarland from Funimation. He was working on Full Metal Alchemist, who invited me up to audition for that show. And that's how I started working up at Funimation. So even now, years later, like, um, my hero is a Funimation show, and I live in Houston, and that records in the Metroplex, so that's about four and a half hours away from me. Um, but I've been making that trip and working, and here, ADV is no longer ADV, now there is Sentai Filmworks. And so those are pretty much the two companies I work for the most with anime, um, but I also do, I do audiobooks. I have audiobooks on Audible, if anybody is an Audible, subscriber. I am. I listen to audiobooks. Um, okay, so which audiobook is that? Because I totally am into audiobooks. A whole, but there are, there are over 60 audiobooks. Um, oh my. Yeah, so if you go to Audible and you look for Lucy Christian, or Lucy with an I, Christian, or Lucy Christian Bell, sometimes it's Lucy Christian Bell, um, you will see a list of things I've done. Some of them are more YA titles, which is totally in the milieu here. Um, a couple of them are more like grown-up romancy, and then there's a really cool sci-fi series and things like that. Anyway, I do that Audible stuff. has been great to get my girls that aren't too much into reading into listening to books. So Amen. I appreciate that I, you brought that up. Yes, same, same. I don't always have time to read books, um, but I have time to listen, and I, I like that a lot. I also do commercial work. I do a little bit of film work. Um, I do, oh, I do a lot of e-learning. So I'm sorry if you guys are ever sitting through like a trigonometry video and you're like, that voice sounds familiar. It could be me and I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I do that, I do a corporate, I do a whole bunch of things. And let me just tell you why. Um, very few of us just do one thing. There's generally not enough work to make a career out of just doing one thing. So when you try to do a whole bunch of things, so when things happen like a pandemic, I do do a voice in Ruby. I do two voices in Ruby. Um, when a pandemic comes and some things fall out of your basket, your work basket, maybe enough remains that you are still able to work. Um, and that's just good advice for lots of us. Um, in Ruby, I am, I was a villain called Little Miss Malachite, and she was real Southern and talked like this, and it was awesome. I'd never done anything like that before, and um, I was like the, the winter princess uh, Freya. Um, her name was Freya. She's really powerful. My favorite character to voice, my first favorite show was a show called Princess Tutu, and I loved it. I know it sounds like, a, if you haven't seen it, it just sounds like a bubble gummy, but it's so good. It's dark. It's 
kind of like a German fairy tale. Um, but that was the first show I ever loved. Um, what did, what, where do I get inspiration? How do I get inspiration? Well, what usually happens is they'll have you in. I, I go in and I've been asked to do a part and they'll say, so this is her or him or it. Sometimes it's a critter, right? And they'll give you a lot of really great adjectives. Her age, her, she's bubbly, if she's serious, if she's a bookworm, if she's a wallflower, if she's sinister, if she's mischievous. And they'll give you a bunch of adjectives. Um, High-pitched, low-pitched, low-energy, laid-back, excited, energetic, like, and then they will show you the scene. And you'll get to go, oh, and you watch it in Japanese. And usually watching it in Japanese plus the adjectives that the director has given me gives me a really good jumping off point. And that's, that's the inspiration. And you just kind of make a choice. You commit to something and you give it a go. And then if the director will say, oh, I love that, that's right. Or they'll say, I thought that was really great. Can you pitch her up? Can you make her sound um, uh, whatever, you know, can you make him a little deeper? Can you do this? And you tweak it from there. And that is almost always how it is. You just kind of make it up as you go. Is it hard to voice the characters? Some of them are hard. Some of them are harder than others. Thank you, Quinlan. I see yours. Where can I stream quality anime free? That's a good question. I'm not sure about free streaming. Um, I know that, and nobody's paying me to do this, I, um, to say this, I, I, I personally watch anime on um, the Sentai app is High Dive. Uh, Sentai has a streaming service called High Dive. And Funimation, the Funimation app is on my phone because I want to be, a, I just wanted to be able, and it's like $6 a month for all the anime you could want. Um, but I know people do Crunchyroll and all that stuff. I don't know if any of it is totally free. The girls, other girls may have better ideas. Um, but just so you know, I don't always watch it free. So I, I pay for it when I need to. Host Club is on Netflix. You guys, I was, I, I couldn't believe that. Um, and sometimes our shows are on TV. There are a few of my shows have been on TV. One Piece was on Toonami. Um, obviously, My Hero was on Toonami. There was a show called Parasite the Maxim that was on Toonami. A show called Food Wars has been on Toonami. Um, oh, I haven't watched it yet, uh, the B-Stars, but my some friends of mine are in it. Um, I was just a bit part in Danganronpa. I... Just a bit part. I didn't have any sort of lead in that, but I love that show. Parasite is awesome. Oh, the host club bloopers were hilarious. My name is Lucy, L-U-C-I, Christian. That's my professional name. Um, and someday, I know a bunch of you guys are out in California and you're all over, but um, I, I go to a lot of conventions um, and I really enjoy getting to do that. And someday it would be awesome to get to meet you guys in person. Yeah. Hey, Puerto Rico! What's up, Puerto Rico? I have not done JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. So they do that out in California, I think. Um, I am in fairy tale. I am young Natsu. I'm young Todd Haberkorn. Hey, Puerto Rico! Hi, Kentucky! Way, Lillian, way. <laughs> Any advice for people who want to voice act? Actually, I do have advice. My best advice is to act, is to get in like, um, and I know that's kind of rough right now because of just the world, but if you have a drama club at your school, almost all of my friends in the industry have some shared history in theater, um, acting classes, um, something like that. If you are a little bit older, you can always take a voice acting class or a voice class or an acting class. You can call a talent agency near you and ask them who they would recommend because they won't steer you wrong. Uh, a good acting class, a, a good voiceover class is one that lets you talk into a microphone a whole bunch. And then you get direction and have to kind of um, 
alter your read on the fly. That is a good acting class. That is what you want. I'm in Texas, if you can believe it. I didn't know, who knew that there are two anime studios in Texas? And I mean, Funimation right now is up in the Metroplex and it's just, you know, it's a really big company now. Did I voice act? I, just a bit part in that show. The hardest part about voice acting, I don't know. Um, probably if, probably the hardest part is you don't get everything you go out for. Like acting is not a profession for the faint of heart. You get rejected a whole bunch. I get rejected a whole bunch and I work a lot. Um, what I have learned over the years is my only job is to show up and try to do the best job I can. And that's all I can control. So I try to show up and do a great job. And if they cast me, great. If not, maybe they will the next one. So my only job is to just show up and do the best I can and then leave and forget about it. Um, and it's really the, the way to sort of last. Everyone is conceding their time. Oh, I see. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I'm reading Miss Mary's, Miss Mary, Miss Mary and I are sharing private messages, you guys. Um, Miss Mary, I'm good to go for however long. Do I have, you are fangirling so hard. What, what? <gasps> Is there a second? I, I, I told Miss Lucy that I knew all of you girls would revolt if we did anything boring after this and made you like <laughs> switch to crafts or anything. So you guys, I'm so happy. And you know what? This is the great thing about Girl Scouts because Lucy was very humble and very kind. And she said, oh, my girls are in this camp and I'm so excited you're doing this theme for girls because, you know, it's not necessarily thought of to be a feminine thing always. And so we were celebrating women in anime and she just very humbly said, oh, by the way, my girls are in this and thank you. And by the way, I do do a little bit of voice acting if you're <laughs> interested. And I was like, oh, yeah, sure. I don't even care what you do. Please, somebody that gets paid for doing this, please come talk to our girls. And then when I heard who she was, I was like, okay, so I was bad. And I told my girls the day before, and they were like literally in tears bursting that they were not allowed to share the secret. So we are so appreciative of you being here today. And girls, this also shows, you know, Girl Scouting is a network of girls. Once you're a Girl Scout, you're a Girl Scout forever. And there are so many amazing Girl Scouts out there that you can connect with. And throughout your whole life, you can keep these Girl Scout connections and meet amazing Girl Scout moms like Lucy Christian Bell. So I'm okay. going to turn this back over to you. So you guys have her until like 2.55, and then we absolutely have to give you your homework for tomorrow. <laughs> you guys, I am, I see some of these. I'm going to answer these. So is there a second season for Host Club? Not that I know of, which is a travesty, I know. Um, but I mean, never say never. I'm in Full Metal Panic and it just got a fourth season, like 10 years after the third season. It just sort of dropped out of the sky. So you never know. And Fruits Basket got more. So you never know. But I haven't heard that it's coming. You drew Uraraka? How awesome. Who is my favorite out of all the characters? So after probably Princess Tutu, um, I'm going to say, I will tell you that I've been in this industry a very long time, and I've never had anything like my hero academia happen to me. So I'm going to say Ochako. I love her so much, and I love the whole show. I'm a fan of the show. How many animes have I watched? Well, if you count the ones I'm in that I've watched in the studio, it is, it is very many. <laughs> Um, but I'll tell you, my collection at home is mostly, um, it's a lot of things I've done, plus some just classic things like Cowboy Bebop and such. Um, and all, of course, the Miyazaki movies. That's what I introduced my girls to first, um, for sure. Do I draw? <laughs> I wish. I wish. My hat is off to all of the artists. Like, for real. I don't draw well. I mean, I draw okay, but I'm not a drawer, for sure. Oh, this is so cool. Molly, hey. Azula, is that right? That's pretty, Azula. 
What's up, Yuki? Hi, Cadet. Hello. Do I draw? Y'all are so awesome. I, I was trying to draw along with the anime head earlier, and I kind of did this. <laughs> like, it's not horrible, except I got lost around the eyes and the mouth. <laughs> How does it feel to be a legend? You are sweet. You are so sweet. Um, I, I have been in the industry a long time and um, it's great. Let me just tell you, I wish for you all to get to do something that you love with people who are wonderful because that is the truth about my job. Um, and I want you to know that most of us really love what we do and love the, love the, the content, we love the people, we love the fans, um, and we don't have any, you know, sometimes there's a sub versus dub thing, so that is not real in my life. Like, I think there are fans who have a preference, which is awesome, um, but there's no, like, um, competition with the Japanese on our side. We revere the Japanese. Um, we're just making a product for a market with a different language. That's all, to give people a choice. Um, but a lot of voice actors I know also read the manga and also watch the Japanese. Um, I know Justin Briner, who plays Deku, you know, he has read all of the manga for My Hero. He was way caught up. In fact, I was the one going, do not tell me. I do not want it spoiled. I just want to watch. You guys are so sweet. Hi, Molly and Margo. Oh, hi, Molly and Margo. <laughs> I think we should talk to Mr. Aizawa. See if, you know, you could come and hang out with us. It would be awesome. Oh, you guys are so You were me for Halloween. That's awesome. <laughs> Can I do Ochako's voice again? Yes. Um, Yes, I can totally do Ochako's voice again. Um, she is best girl. She is awesome. Who has seen the new movie? Oh my gosh. Um, Heroes Rising came out right before the pandemic and we all went, a whole bunch of the cast, which is huge, went out to LA to watch the premiere and it was amazing. Like amazing. Can I recommend any recording mics or equipment? Sure. Um, I can tell you that you do not have to spend a lot of money on equipment to play with your voice at home. You really don't. I used, I, and I record from home now, we have been recording My Hero and other stuff from home during this pandemic, which is crazy. I never thought I would see the day, but we're doing that. And I have a setup in my closet. I have a microphone um, that is not that expensive. Microphones can be super expensive. Mine was about probably $400, which sounds expensive, but is not in the world of microphones. Mine is an SE Electronics uh, 2200-2C, I think it's called. It's a large, it's a condenser mic, and um, it's great. I have a little baby preamp. I use Studio One. I use the pro version, which is a paid-for version, but there's a free version. But I have friends who use free audacity, anything. I mean, people use free software and you should, unless you want to pay, which you don't have to. But you can use, you can get a cheap mic and plug it in and use free software and, and some headphones. Be sure to get some headphones. Again, they don't have to be expensive, um, but get some headphones so that you can see what you, what you sound like um, talking into a microphone inside your cans. It's very different and you want to get used to that. And it'll let you play around. That's what you want. You have the, hello. Hi, Marie. Oh, y'all are so sweet. What is my favorite anime that I haven't been in? Um, so there are a lot. Cowboy Bebop. Um, I don't know if any of you have seen Attack on Titan. It is not for children, the little children's. It is not. Um, so violent, but... Attack on Titan was crazy. How did it feel to be a voice actor my first time? It was scary. It was scary. And uh, I didn't think I was very good. It was very weird. Um, and that is true. Again, I hope you take a lot of comfort in that. Even people who've done it for a long time, everybody starts in the same place, which is trying something new. 
and that can be really freaky. Um, but you get better. That's the thing. You get better as you go. I can say, I love that you guys want me to say things as Ochako. Say, release. <laughs> Does my daughter watch the shows I'm in? Some. That's a really good question. She cannot, they are not old enough to watch everything. They are eight and 10, and they just turned eight and 10. So they've seen Princess Choo Choo. They've seen a show I did uh, many years ago called Kaleidostar, um, which is great. That is a show that, that kids could watch. Um, and they've seen some of my hero. Um, oh yes, she brought me the DVD. So that's my DVD from Kaleidostar from a million years ago when we all did DVDs. Um, what else have they watched? I can't think immediately of other things of they mine. Ask who you are in Kalia Star. Oh, uh, so I'm Sarah, uh, who is the, oh, hello, Sora. She's got this British accent. I'm also Kate. Um, I'm two characters. And what is funny about that is the director said, hey, I need a voice for this Kate girl. She's like a doctor. She's very granola. Um, and it's different enough from your Sarah voice that I don't think anybody, and it's not like they're ever going to meet or anything. Well, sure enough, later in the series, Sarah and Kate meet on a street, like on a sidewalk, and have a conversation. <laughs> so there's a whole scene where I'm talking to myself. <laughs> it is hilarious. In fact, I think I tweeted it not so, like just a couple of weeks ago, somebody shared it. How long have I been in the industry? About 20 years. If you can believe that, I have been in it a long time. So, in that amount of time, I'm sure they've the girls probably heard the expression "paying your dues." Yes. Um, what kind of dues do you have to pay? You know, to because not every artist get ha, gets all these great opportunities, and you have to go through a lot of fishes to find you know <laughs> the right one. <laughs> That's exactly right. So probably for me, paying my dues in this industry looked like um, I, I did not, I had a bunch of things going. So I didn't stop working a day job and doing a bunch of other things until I had been doing anime for, gosh, I want to say five years, six years. Um, and that's kind of, you, you sort of generally have to build up a little bit, you know, um, that's how it can be breaking. But some people will say that breaking into the industry is really hard. I've been really, really fortunate and I never want to discourage anyone from breaking into the industry. You can do it, but it may take a while. It may take, um, taking classes and doing a bunch of other things and, um, doing things, uh, I don't know. It just, it can look different for everybody. For me, it just looked like I hustled a lot doing a bunch of different things <laughs> until I got enough success and enough regular work to be able to kind of let go of a bunch of other grunt work that I was doing that I, I didn't love as much as acting. But now, I mean, I've been acting full time. I'm only an actor. I don't have a day job. And I've been doing that for 12 years -ish. so as an actor you're pretty much an entrepreneur you're your own boss i mean even though you have an agent to help you so yes. obviously in girl scouts we promote entrepreneurship in with our girls with our programs and things so what kind of people skills do you think has um, helped you in your career and how you network with people and how you work professionally with others Oh, that's such a good question. And to Lillian, I want to say I was an Azamangadayo. I am Miss Yukari, the best teacher ever. <laughs> Worst driver. Um, so in terms of people skills, so again, I'm an actor. I'm an actor first and foremost. So a lot, again, of what you're doing is you're trying to make connections with people because you're not going to be right for every project. You just want to be on a short list of people they want to work with or a short list of people they will ask back to do something else. And so a lot of times when you're given an opportunity, um, instead of thinking so much about 
So this is the thing, I, I need to get this part. It's, I wanna show up and make a really good impression on these people. So I wanna be outgoing, I wanna be fun, I wanna be, I wanna be able to listen to them and um, just have a really good experience. And you learn over and over just to kind of how to control yourself, how to control your voice, how to control your uh, emotions. I know that some people, um, like some people who are fans of anime um, or who let their nerves get the better of them might go into the room to audition or to meet new people and be so freaked out, so nervous that they can't, that they don't make a good impression that they're almost paralyzed. Um, and that is something that you just have to learn. It's just public, public speaking classes will help that you, what putting your best foot forward means, which is looking people in the eye and um, making sure to do like the basics of, hi, hey, nice to see you today. Oh, thanks so much. And especially when it's over. Um, when you meet people and you're just like, thank you so much. I had a blast. Have a great day. And leaving really good impressions um, for people to think of you. Um, that, re that reminds me of how we try to help our Girl Scouts with like their product programs and using that, that personal um, people skills, like especially when you get told no, like, no, you're not going to be right for this or no, we don't want to buy your Girl Scout cookies. Like I always have our Girl Scout troops say, thank you anyway, have a nice day. And it, it only happens like once or twice in a hundred customers, but half the time they'll turn around and say, you know what? You were such a polite Girl Scout. I am going to buy a box of cookies. That's exactly so, right. That is 100% so, true. Especially because can you imagine, I mean, all of you girls know if somebody were to say, um, no, thank you, I don't want a box today, and you were like, well, fine. <laughs> you have made an impression on those people that's not awesome. So in my business, if, um, like I said, I've, I've not been cast in shows before. So if I, when I saw the director next time after they didn't cast me, if I was like, why didn't you cast me? If I got weird on them, they might not want to work with me again. So a lot of it is having a really long view. You know, we can look at things that happen sort of right now and think of, I'm looking bigger. I'm looking at, I want to work here for a long time. I want to connect with you in a bigger way for a longer time period. And so I'm going to have a longer view and I'm going to put my best foot forward at all times. I can only control my side. So I'm just always going to be awesome and easy to work with and fun to work with and make people's jobs easier and trust that that is going to be better in the long run than if I get really wrapped up in, in little shows here and there, you know, or little disappointments. That's what I would say. That's what I think. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, you that, like that, that? That perseverance is really serves Girl Scouts and it serves, I'm sure as an actor, you have to have lots of perseverance no matter what genre of acting you're in. Yes, and I will say, just because you guys are coming up in a different time than I did, um, I would also say your people skills extend to the internet and um, how it can really help you or it can not help you. So I have some disappointments. There are times I don't get what I want, um, but I'm not gonna go to the internet to express my disappointment like that because I don't want the people I'm working with to see that, right? I wanna be really careful with what I post. So um, that is something that I think is definitely worth saying, that you your people skills extend to, if, if somebody can go and look at your Instagram or go and look at your Twitter feed, that all of that is an extension. And you should hold me to that, you should go to, my Twitter and my Instagram, whenever you're on those things, when your parents say it's okay, um, and look and see if I am representing myself well. I hope I would, because that's, because I should, I, I should. Um, can I say, let's see, my friends are gonna be upset. <laughs> Do more honey, senpai. You guys, that's the best show. 
Oh, you're so sweet, Hadley. You saw the movie? It is a myth. See, I'm just catching up right now on it. How long does it take to catch up on all the episodes to dub? That's a super interesting question. Um, so Funimation began doing something called simul dubbing not too terribly long ago. But it used to be where I would get called and you would have like a month to do four episodes for a volume of anime. And now it is, hey, we need the first 12 episodes of this show done in two weeks. It's real fast now. And uh, for Funimation, the way they do it and how we were releasing so many shows, including My Hero before the pandemic, they would get the script, the Japanese would air the original episode in Japan, and then they would get all of the materials to Funimation who would translate it from Japanese, a translator translates it, and then a writer gets the um, rough translation and writes it so that it sort of matches the flaps, matches the, the lip flaps. And then the actors come in and record it. And we were averaging getting out an episode a week or two after the Japanese was out. So that means that a lot of things happen in production to make that able to even happen. That is super fast in, in our world right now. Um, and now with the pandemic, everything is a lot slower, which is fine. Um, at least we're able to still do anime. Um, I think we just finished season four of My Hero and there is gonna be a season five. So that's exciting. Um, we're all really excited about that. Oh, thank you, I agree, the soundtrack is awesome. Oh, I hope so. Zabella, um, yes, I did do a con down in McAllen last year and it was so fun. We enjoyed it so much. I hope I get to go back. You're poor, you can. I understand, Serena. <laughs> Any cons in Minnesota? I hope so. Um, favorite Pokemon? Oh, so difficult. I don't know. Somebody, I don't know. That's hard. Do I ever? You're in tears. You're sweet. Favorite. Um. <laughs> Hi, friend. Yes. Sorry, I'm still. Have I seen? Yes, yes, I'm still looking. Love Attack on Titan. Uh, I do do Recovery Girl, too. Oh, I forgot to even say that. In My Hero, I'm also Recovery Girl. And that happened because um, Julie, who was the original Recovery Girl, moved after the first season. So then they had an audition. And I was asked to audition because I can, I sometimes voice old lady voices and I got to be a recovery girl too. So I'm, she's like, um, you know, how uh, Ochako is very sweet and she's so cute. And she's like, hey, Deku, what are you doing? And me and Deku and Ida are going to go eat rice in the cafeteria. It's awesome. Um, so recovery girl is like, all might. I don't know what you're doing to that young man, but you would better stop. And anyway, she's this old lady and she's fabulous and heals them with her kisses and it's awesome. Do I ever come up with ideas for characters? Like original characters? Probably not so much, but that's mostly just because I, I don't know. I guess it's because there's a lot of storytelling already in my life, so maybe, I don't think about original ones. Uh, who is my favorite My Hero character? For real, Todoroki. <laughs> it's just true. It's just true. Um, can, let's see. Yes, yeah, so show me all your fan art on Flipgrid. Tell Sam I said hi. Yes, recovery girl. We're on. Yay. Oh. Y'all, there's so much. Do you think you can draw pro anime? Why not? I mean, I will never tell you that you can't. That is 100% true. There's been many questions as what your Instagram is, Lucy. Oh, it's Lucy uh, with an I. 
loves Mike, M I C. That's also me on Twitter. I'm Lucy Loves Mike on Twitter and Instagram. And on Twitter, I, um, that's probably where the most work stuff happens. On Instagram, I'm usually, uh, I post pictures of my kiddos, our Girl Scout stuff, um, more home stuff. I do Insta stories and things like that of just stuff I do in the daytime, that's all. What kinds of questions do they ask for interviews and stuff? A lot of the stuff we're talking about now, they mostly ask about, a lot of people are interested in voice acting and stuff, and so we talk about that a lot. Or what it's like to be a part of something like My Hero, that is such a crossover show. Um, I mean, My Hero has done amazing things for fandom, I think, because so many people wouldn't give anime the time of day until it looks a little more Western. Which, my hero with the superhero theme and all that stuff is just sort of this perfect vehicle to get people interested in this art form. And um, it's doing its job. It's the gateway anime, as far as I'm concerned. I have not watched Demon Slayer yet. Um, there's a show on Netflix called uh, Saint Seiya. They are redoing the old Saint Seiya, which many fans, like hardcore fans, had a lot of feelings about, but anyway, I'm in that right now too. Oh, you guys are sweet. Thank you. Your favorite ship is Deku plus hospital bed. Yes. Agree. That is hilarious. I'm going to say that my favorite ship is Bakugo plus antidepressants. Like <laughs> Bakugo needs something. <laughs> Just, oh Lord. So funny. Yay. So I girls, I know see. you could probably sit and chat with Lucy like for the rest of eternity. They're all having so much fun. But yes. we want to be considerate of your time. You've been so generous with your time and we've loved getting to know one of our Girl Scout sisters and it's so cool that you offered and we were so generous to share your time with us today. Um, girls, we went ahead and let you spend as much time as you could with Lucy. So for everybody's homework, 